everything changes now. Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got a look at several items on the sun. There's likely to be a solar wind impact this weekend. We'll also be looking at the major announcement from NASA yesterday in an excellent paper on the atmosphere, and we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. There has not been significant solar flaring or eruptive behavior, and the visible half of the sun is dominated by the butterfly coronal hole. This coronal hole is so deep that it can even be seen in 304 angstroms of light, the red one, which is extremely rare. Its solar wind is going to impact Earth Saturday or Sunday, and at the very least, minor geomagnetic storms are likely. There was also something interesting. A filamentary plasma flux rained down on the incoming northern polar crown. First thought is that this looks like the in and out Birkeland currents at Earth. Wonder if there's the outflow on the other side, and yes, it looks like there is. While we would not expect it to be as slow and drawn out, this sputter release from the exact opposite side of the polar crown is it. I wonder if this confirms that the Sun has those space magnetic connections to the core of the galaxy. Folks, I'm sure you heard this news by now. Potential biosignature on Mars where the rover finds itself currently where a massive waterway used to be. Caution abounds as there are non-life explanations and ways to make what they found, but so far it is definitely the closest they've got to identification of life outside the Earth. Last but not least, folks, excellent paper on the CO2 lag to temperature. For those who know temperatures move and then CO2 moves, not the other way around, this is an excellent breakdown of that here. And if you haven't heard of that before, yep, it's a real thing. And they really try to cram the 180 degree flip nonsense down our throats. Folks, nine days from the Pole Shift Conference, Founders Weekend end of the month, the two prepping events to kick off October are world class, definitely think about coming out for one of those. In November, we have weapons training and self-defense to kick off the month, observer speed dating which went shockingly well the first time, it is time to find that prepper princess or post-apocalyptic warlord, film premiere event, more Pole Shift Conference day. Book your stay at ObserverRanch.com and please do not count on showing up last minute for these events. We have limited space for them. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. <laughs>